uh, the plan in general was um, to be aggressive because you know that he's going to come at you and he's going to throw strikes. Um, what we saw was just everything coming together very nicely. It was it was kind of a special night for our offense. Not something that um, you know any team would ever expect to to see against a guy like this. This is um, one of the more dominant pitchers that that we've seen in the game for a very long time. It's easy to see why. Um, but our guys went out there and they 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 were ready to to you know they were ready for their at bats. Um, you know they didn't uh, they didn't give an inch and they put good swings on uh, on the ball. It was it, it was really nice to see. But um, you know against a guy like this, like I said, it's it's not something that you're gonna um, probably see a, a ton of. And when you do get those nights, um, you know you kind of relish in them. Well, a night when you're facing Degrom after about a half an hour rain delay on a cold night. Not that you wouldn't ever expect your guys to come out and be ready, but the way they jumped, it was like they were so ready. How pleased were you at the guys just being ready to go right out of the gates? Yeah, we we didn't uh, look at the conditions or the situation that we were in, um, you know, and, and go out there, you know, unfocused. Our guys went out there ready to play. They prepared for this game um, just like... Uh, like any other game, but you know, it, when the conditions are not good, it, it is it is easy to go out there and um, you know not be kind of on top of things. And our guys went in there from the very beginning, even in the first inning, when when we didn't uh, you know um, get anything out of it, we still had some good swings and some good at bats. So uh, you know, I don't think we could be uh, any happier with the way that it went offensively and. Couldn't have worked out better also, and maybe it meant something, but it's Rudy Hernandez's birthday today. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a big deal for all of our hitters and all of our players. So maybe that had something to do with it. Six home runs combined then for those hitters. Um, anything behind the power? Was there a, a different approach or a different way of trying to attack certain pitches that led to the six home runs? You don't expect the ball to quite fly that much on a, on a cold night in April. No, and... and you know, I don't know whether the ball was uh, flying, not flying tonight. I think all all the swings were, um, you know, the types of swings that probably would have been home runs regardless of, of conditions on, on most nights. So um, the, the quality of, of the at-bats and of the swings was it was there from the beginning till the end of the game regardless of, of who was pitching. And uh, I think it's a good day to, to pat our hitters on the back. Preparing to face someone like the ground, watch a lot of video, know what's coming. What you saw tonight was that significantly different than what you may have seen on video or what you prepared for? Well, sometimes when you face a, a pitcher like this, and there's so few of them that are this this dominant and and you know of this quality, um, maybe sometimes you actually prepare less and you just go out there, uh, you know say ready to hit the fastball and just just go from there because over preparing for for someone like this um you know obviously that might not work and and that might not actually lead to anything so i've actually seen it go maybe the other way more times than not against against these types of pitchers um because otherwise you just screw yourself into the ground trying to have some sort of plan against a guy that you know is usually um unhittable i mean that's generally what he is and um like I said, this is a, this is a good day to look around at all of our guys in the lineup and, and say, you know, what a good job they did because they really did.